Welcome back to Sister Sister. So let's get straight into the video. I have some goodies from Sephora. This time I took advantage of the VIB sale. I got quite a bit of stuff. First thing I got was this Violet Boss palette. It's a uh, Violet Boss Like a Boss palette. It's a 20 pan eyeshadow palette. Hey, Oh, you're recording. But you know what the tone is. In the damn cabinet. Close my door. Where's the tone nail clipper? Oh, I don't know. Close my door. Why do you need help finding it? You don't need my help finding the toenail clipper. Because I don't know where it is. You don't know where it is? No. Then you don't know it's the one that has the toenail clippers. Why do you use the fingernail clipper? I don't know. One has the TV too loud and the other one won't leave me alone. So this is what the pal looks like. Ooh. Well, I think I'm gonna keep this. This one is kind of cute. Everybody else is janky, but that one's cute. It has this huge mirror. Those are the shades. Neutral palette, which I so love. I love it. It's exactly up my alley right now. I love neutral palettes. I also picked up this Sephora Contour and Blush Palette. Here is what the palette looks like. Becca Light Chaser Highlight for face and eyes. It's in Topaz Flash Gilt. It looks so high end and so luxe and gorgeous. Ooh, that color. So you gotta see that color. You have to. Sephora. Cream lip stain and it's in the shade. Is it 39 made in Italy? That's not what it's called. Frozen strawberry. Another foundation. The four bright future skin tint. There is the skin tint itself. And it's in a squeezy tube. Squeezy tube. Try this. I'm actually doing two separate videos. So you, you will see me applying this. I probably speed it up so you'll see me applying this, but I won't really give my um, thoughts. I won't give my thoughts about it because I'm gonna put it in a separate video with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. One of my day of 16 days of foundation to clutter. There we go. So make sure you watch both videos. A powder bronzer from Anastasia, the shade Mahogany. What pretty packaging that is! But look at that. Look how beautiful. How Pretty is that? Oh, scratching it up, but it had a little insert that's dinging it up already. Nice size mirror. That's the color. So mahogany, I think, was the darkest shade. I picked up this Clinique blush, and it's the cheek pop. It's in the shade Cola Pop, seven Cola Pop. I thought that shade was absolutely beautiful. And how cute is that package? So it's the Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Longwear Pomade. It's in the shade Walnut. So this is what the Kat Von D Pomade looks like. It's in a glass jar. It's kind of like the Anastasia one. Let's see. It looks cute. So it has this little raised design on the top of the cap, which is pretty cool. I picked up some glitters from the Sephora collection and there are the colorful glitters that is what secret garden looks like so i got another one and what happens in vegas I picked up another one in fairy princess the sephora collection smoothing translucent setting powder she said it's in a universal shade this looks like a regular old setting powder but we'll see how it feels in in more in the demo sephora beauty amplifier gel mattifying primer Bathroom. i'm sure in the cabin i'm sure right where you said it was i'm sure but it wasn't where you said it was like why I wasn't it so it was behind stuff okay so if it's behind stuff it's still in the cabinet but i couldn't find it Here's the mattifying primer, and it's in a squeezy tube as well. So that is all that I got. So let's just go ahead and um, lay in some makeup. I already outlined my brows, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D 
pomade and walnut. I have already put a dent in it <laughs> and I just barely tapped my brush inside of it. So it's very, very, very creamy. I don't usually like my homemade like that. I like it to be a tad bit stiff. So it, it's better to uh, have some control over it when it's stiff. I actually don't like this. I have to clean up my brows, but I, like I have to get used to it. Like I said, I'm going to use this uh, mattifying primer from the Sephora collection. You can see that, but it's like a nude skin tone color. Well, not my skin tone color, but it feels soft. What is gel? Okay, I'm going to put this all over. <laughs> I'm like, at first, I'm like, ooh, wait, it dries up really fast. Okay, maybe I won't put it all over. Nope, won't do that. So don't do that. Don't try to manipulate it all over your face because it dries up extremely fast and it mattifies extremely fast. I thought it was going to be like the texture of a pore minimizing primer, the like the uh, silicone texture. It's a gel, but I don't feel like it's a gel. I feel like this creamy texture and then it goes straight from that to a mattifying texture and it blurs so i'm just putting it on the areas where i get super oily what we do here is go back 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 Great pigment to it. I want to do this. It's not actual glitter, but it's eyeshadow, but it has glitter in it. So I want to try this. And this one, what did I say? Secret Garden. It's like this really pretty glitter dual chrome. See how it looks on top of that? I'm going to spray my brush. That's what I'm going to do. basically the same. I don't know if this is the glitter. I feel like it was basically the same as the one that I put on first. Just a deeper shade of that color. It's a glitter. Colorful glitter. But I don't see much glitter in that one. Loudest. Translucent setting powder. So I'm going to use Wait, oh, wait, fancy. I thought it twists. I'm like trying to twist it. No. There, there, it pops. It opens up. Oh, jeez. It opens up like that. Huh. Isn't that cool? What is that? Is that a button? Do you push a button? Wait, what? I need a tutorial to figure out how to get this thing open. What is the kind of mechanism? So I thought maybe you would lift this part up because it has a mirror here and then it has this little thing here that I'm pushing in and powder is coming through there. This doesn't make sense. I thought maybe you open this lid in here up. Oh, maybe you beat down inside and then turn it back and it might be some powder in there. Because... Uh, no, a little bit, but not much. Like, how do you? This is this is odd. Turn it back over. No, there's only a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use whatever is in here. Hopefully, it's enough. Maybe that just means you don't need a lot. So I can appreciate that. Let's see, it's translucent. So hopefully it doesn't leave that white cast that's left in my eyes. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's not bad. It's kind of smoothed out of what ooh, it's soft. Ooh. I thought it was gonna be like stark white, but no, it's just like melted straight into the skin. 
parts here. <laughs> I got some on my tongue. Let me not talk while I do this. It's so soft. Let's bronze a little bit. I'm going to take this Anastasia bronzer. Let's say mahogany. A little powdery. Mm, it's not a bad color. I kind of wish it was a tad bit deeper. I initially go in, it doesn't give me much powder, but when I go back again, you can start to see it come up on the skin. I'm gonna try that bronzer color and with a smaller brush. Be a little bit more precise with this. Maybe a contour. That's a nice contour. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. I am definitely going to take this travel with me. This is the Clinique blush. So let's try that one. I'm gonna use this dimple brush. Then, ooh. Oh, I love blush. I absolutely love blush. I kinda wanna use this one, and I might go a little bit too ham with the blush, but I'm gonna try it. <laughs> This will be too much. All that kind of like lightens that color up a bit. They're both super, super pretty. Again, we have the Becca Topaz Flashes Guilt. This is greenish tone to it. Can you see it? It's like green. <laughs> Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit more golden than green, but it's showing up super, do I want my nose to be green? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I do. I guess I do. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I think it would be so beautiful on the eyes because I believe it said it could be used as a eyeshadow or face and eyes. Yeah, not face. Don't put this on your face. Let's do that. Let's put it in the inner corner. Ooh. Okay, yes, this is an eyeshadow. It has that shift, that iridescent shift where it goes from gold to green. And on your cheeks where it goes from gold to green. But I more prefer that on my eyes than I do on my cheeks. So I still have left the Sephora, I say it like that, Sephora. <laughs> so I still have left the Sephora, 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 cream lip stain, rose and strawberry. They should what we do here is go back, 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 back. It really has that creamy, wet feeling. I like it, it's really pretty. It has dried down to a matte finish. Seems like it's kiss proof. I could feel it when it starts to dry up on my lips. It's not overly drying. Like it's very, very comfortable. So if you like this haul, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. I will see you in our next video.